Hi everybody, Jake, your resident content cowboy here. Yeehaw, and we're back, we're spectating a game. I wanna watch this Talonflame here from Celestial, one of the top ranked Talonflame players out there. Let's see what this match looks like. We got a lot of TTVs and stuff in everyone's name, so everybody's out there. They're all producing that content, and you know they're serious. You can tell they're very, very serious about the game, so I wanna see how this goes. We've got this Lucario going solo in the top lane. We have three going bottom lane, Eldegoss, Pikachu, Wigglytuff. That's a fun lane. This is clearly a coordinated game because you don't do 1-1-3 all by yourself. So we've got 1-1-3 for both teams. Lucario against that Zero Aura in the top lane, and then the enemy team has Mime, Eldegoss and Venusaur bottom lane here. Pikachu already doing some work there in that bottom lane. We're just watching this Talon here. Obviously, there's more action going on other places, but if you want to see a good jungle path, it's always good. You know, you can hop into one of these spectated games and just watch someone make their way through the jungle so we can see what they're doing. Looks like they're going to be heading up to this top lane here to help their solo laner, this Lucario. T.E. Dexter or Ted Dexter. I feel like I've played with this person before. I think they're pretty good. So let's see. Go ahead and take those Apums. Oh, setting them up for Lucario, actually. And we are now getting ready for the Bs at 850 here. Uh, this Lucario has not scored any points yet, so they might not be stacking anything yet. And we've got that big amount of damage there from Talon. And then look at that. Talon and Lucario just eating that Zara Aura. Goodbye, Zara Aura. Cinderace actually getting that... Lucario really close, but not able to finish it off. Can it get both? This could be a double, actually. We could see Talon and Lucario go down here. No, does not chase. TTV LM Gucci staying where they are right there. And oops, <laughs> sorry, everybody. <laughs> My controller bounces over to Pikachu for a minute. I'm excited about the buff Pikachu as well game. So we're just watching this Talonflame. Obviously, that didn't go their way there near the end. They uh, they traded Zara Aura for Talon. I think actually the orange team got the better trade there. Taking out the jungler, I think, is a little stronger than taking out the lane Pokemon. But either way, a trade was made. We are now seeing this Talon take all the experience it can. It makes its way to level seven. I'm guessing we're gonna see a flying Talonflame, and we are. Takes out that Corefish. We we see Zara right there. This Talon is stalking it a little bit. It, it's getting into a fight with Lucario here. This is very bad for Zara Aura right now. And there it goes. See you later. Cinderace not there in time to stop it. Big win for this top lane duo right here. And now Lucario just scoring at will. And ooh, yeah. Cinder has to run because it sees Talon basically just posturing there like, hey, if you don't pull back, I'm going to land on you. Very, very nice here. And now we are seeing this fight over bees. We have a level six Zara Aura here, which means that Zara Aura is not even close to as good as it will be very, very soon. If in that moment, the orange team Zara Aura was level eight and it had discharge or wild charge, that would have been a completely different encounter. We might see again Cinderace. Wow. That Cinderace is mean, and they are punishing our buddy Talonflame here. Talonflame going to be heading into the bottom lane here to fight for Dread. Looks like we have the entire purple team bottom lane. Orange team is split. It looks like Zara Aura has stayed top, possibly to make sure that they are level 8. They, they might not feel that they're that useful in that bottom fight until they are level 8. They're scoring more on that top goal there, and it looks like they are going to be taking Dread here in the bottom, and Zara Aura possibly taking that Rotom for themselves in the top lane we're see they are going to destroy this goal here the question is do they push further we're above the five minute mark they absolutely could but they don't entirely ba they back off they go to get some experience here zara does take that rotom in the top lane and now we're just seeing this talon continue to farm continue to get experience here now top goal is it still around Zero's only scored 74 points, so I guess it could be around. No, it's gone. It is gone. It is gone, everybody. Oh, yeah, Rotom. 74 points plus what Rotom scored in the goal. Okay, we now have purple team kind of collapsing on this top goal here. 
We've got a fight, and this Cinder's doing so well. Talon with the Unite. Yes, I knew that was coming. Great Unite move by Talon there. Cinder uniting right back so that it can stay alive here, but I don't think it's going to get out of Talon Flame's reach this time. Zara Aura being taken down by Talon. Talon now looking for that Venusaur, not able to get it there. Peeling back, going to get some experience in that top lane. No, leaving that experience, actually. Who are you leaving it for? Hmm. Okay. Leaving all that experience. Maybe they want their Eldegoss to have it. There's a lot up there. And yeah, okay. Moving back for it. No, letting Pikachu have it. They might need it. They might need the uh, experience and Talonflame says, well, I'm just going to wait here and take jungle then. A little bit of a misclick there. Accidentally uh, used their fly before they were supposed to. No big deal here. Just heading up. Going to slam down. If you could, you do it between the two of them. It's a very minor thing, but if you could, you'd slam right between the two, hit the fly damage on both of them, take them out. Just a real, real minor, you know, speed up of taking that jungle here. We do know that Zara Aura's around here, and Talonflame might be looking for this gank here. They might be deciding to not participate in Dread and take this score in the top lane. It looks like it. We're going to have a big overdunk here in the top lane, and bottom lane... Purple team is now fighting over Dread in this moment. I'm just going to take us down here for a sec. We can see the action from Pikachu's perspective. We've got Unites being thrown down. We're losing two people on Purple. Talonflame by themselves in that top lane. Purple really lost this encounter. And uh, now back up to Talon. Talon is taking this Rotom. They took goal, and now they're going to take Rotom. And I don't think Zero Aura is going to be able to make it there in time. It's going to be close, but this should be an easy uh, Rotom for purple team. Ooh, landing on pretty hard and there's that unite move. Goodbye. Ah, caught by the mime. Ah, oh, caught by the mime. A tale as old as time. Being caught by the mime singing this song about this game. Talon Flame got ganked. Okay, so that didn't work out too well for Talon Flame. They were going to steal some of that jungle there. We'll rotate over here so we can take a look at what's going on. Let's watch this Eldegoss for a minute here. Keeping the team alive. Pushing down through the center here. We're at 315, so people are getting ready for the end of the game here. We've got a level advantage. It looks like Orange team, with they've got their Zara Aura at 13, their Venusaur at 12. Levels are actually pretty similar for both teams here. Talon, back in the jungle, S taking out those wild Pokemon. I was going to say scoring. It's not scoring, Jake. It's getting experience from wild Pokemon, taking these wild Pokemon out, making their way possibly to the center fight here that seems to have materialized out of nothing. Sometimes people just run into each other in center and all of a sudden a team fight breaks out. It's not a great team fight for either team usually. Uh, just whoever gets caught sometimes gets the worst of it. Let's see. We got a 2KO streak here. Oh, and this Talonflame really going to push the advantage there. Interesting move using that Unite right before Zapdos, but it's going to give them a KO and a bottom goal. All right, pulling back here. We won't have a Dread or Rotom before Zap, so it's Zap's time, baby. The question is, how is this final team fight going to go? How are people going to position themselves? We have almost all of Purple Team inside the center here. Orange Team is mobilizing. We have Lucario coming down. So Purple Team has the advantage of being here first, but that doesn't mean they're going to have the advantage of winning this team fight. We've got a really, really strong Talon. We've got Wiggly getting ready to take them out. And we have the Orange team just setting up for this engagement here. Eldegoss coming through the bottom by themselves. I do not understand this play at all. What happened here? Very confusing. I, I, what's going on over here? I, I am shocked that that happened. What an odd play. I don't know if that was a mistake. If they thought people were going in and they didn't. We have Wiggly. Trying to bait that Zara Aura there. It doesn't work. Orange team now moving through the bottom. We have three orange team members moving through the bottom here. Zara Aura on that Talonflame. Someone who could definitely take them out, but they are not able to get them. Our Talonflame is now backing. Nope. They've decided to unite. They're not going to head back to base. They're fighting here. And it looks like, boom, big, big moves from that Talonflame. We've got two orange team members, Venusaur, and one other coming up through the bottom. Looks like Cinderace. We have Lucario following them. I have Talonflame running back. What is Eldegoss doing? I think this Eldegoss just threw the game here. 
I don't know what happened. That's really unfortunate for Orange Team. I don't know what their Eldegoss is doing here. It's just up here by themselves. Maybe they lagged out or something like that. That's a really unfortunate time to be thrown out of the match here. Uh, they need to win this fight. It's going to be really hard to do without their support. So just watching Orange Team deal with a really unfortunate situation here. I don't know which way that was going to go. But at this point, unfortunately, it looks like it's going to go the way of Purple Team. Not necessarily because that's how the match would have been, but because that's what did end up happening there with that person lagging out. So a really good game and really well fought by both teams. Uh, but unfortunately, we did have that moment at the end where Eldegoss is just clearly disconnected, lagged out, whatever it is. Some really great Talonflame plays throughout that game, though. So thank you all for watching. Thank you for listening. I hope you enjoyed that. And I will see you all next time with more commentary from some of the top players in the game. Goodbye. Mm -hmm. Did I yeehaw? Hope I yeehawed. Yeehaw if I didn't.